Today I'm showing you guys on how to make a TeamSpeak 3 server running on a um, on Windows uh, machine. Sorry, this is a 64-bit operating system. I'm going to provide the link to where to download the TeamSpeak uh, 3 server. So it's actually right on the TeamSpeak website. So you can navigate to there, Google, whatever. I'll give you the link. You're going to download the correct one, either 32 or 64. If you don't know how to check that, you go to My Computer, you right-click on Computer, and then you'll see 64-bit operating system. So what you're going to want to do then is uh, extract it to your desktop or any location that you want to go to. Delete that. You can rename the folder if you want. I'm going to call it TeamSpeak 3 Server. Open the folder within there. You'll see another folder. You can rename that. TeamSpeak 3 server, open that up. You're going to see th these files. Uh, if you're running Windows 7 or Vista, uh, I would recommend right clicking, either go to properties and make sure this is checked as uh, run as administrator when, of course, you do it. So I'm going to have that checked at all times. All right, so then I'm going to just open this. It's going to come up saying um, TeamSpeak Server 3, server, this is the server admin login, server admin password, and then server admin token. Alright, so then, as you see down at the bottom, you'll see a little TeamSpeak 3 server that's running, and uh, this, is, this is now the server is running. So now I'm going to switch to my router, which now I'm going to show you guys on how to configure router to have the correct ports open so it can navigate to your correct to your TeamSpeak. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to uh, port forward your the ports so when someone wants to connect to your uh, server it's of course going to direct them to the correct port and IP to where it wants to go. So what you're going to want to do is um, first of all get to your router settings inside your router you'll see port forwarding uh, what you can do then is uh, when you're at that location the name of whatever you want so I'm gonna call it TS3 server port range will be 9987 your IP to figure out what your IP is you go to start you type in CMD and then IP config it will give you your, uh, your local IP should be there, but I'm. Um, this is a. Uh, I have it on a different server, so I'm going to do 192.168.1.107. Then you're going to do the 9987, and this is going to be uh, UDP. I'm going to go ahead and add that. As you can see, it is now added. You need to create another one, so I'm going to create TS3 server 2. Port range for this one will be 3. 0033 my IP and then 30033 this one's going to be TCP add that and then you're going to make one more so the total of three ports that you're forwarding 10011 And then one zero zero one one, and that is going to be TCP. Add those. All right. Once you have all three added, I'm going to move on to the next step. Okay. So now that you have the server, let me open this up. Now, seeing how you have this up and running down here, what you're going to have to do. And seeing how you have the the ports forwarded, you have to add add it to the the firewall, so the you know the program the uh, so when someone connects, it's not being blocked. So you want to do add, allow another program. You're gonna browse, search for this, then you're gonna open that. You hit add, and then make sure look for it. That is allowed. 
for everything. Hit OK. Go back. So now, seeing how it's added to the firewall, you have it running and everything. What you're going to want to do is open up your TeamSpeak. This is not my TeamSpeak here. So now, what you could do is go to the go to what my what what's my IP .com and give your friends that IP or if you have the router that I have it actually makes it so you can have your own uh, address so mine is llamalord.asuscom.com and when you connect to that it's actually going to connect to my server and instead of giving your IP out you can just give them that address and there's other ways to uh, of course make it so you can use a different address so once that's all set okay so once that's all set what you do is you go to uh, you add your server so the server name your server address your nickname that you want to join into and then once all that's all set you should just be able to click OK go to your bookmarks and connect to your server so it is now connected to my server now as you can see it says enter privilege key so now we're gonna go back to our server which will be this token so you're gonna copy that token so this is when you first connect to your server copy that in hit OK privilege key was successfully used hit OK and there you go you become a server admin and that's where you're able to do anything you want if you have any questions please comment below uh, join my blog which I'll be posting more videos of this I'm gonna be able to do hopefully a lot more tutorials for you guys comment if you guys want any kind of uh, tutorials down there and also like